Here we are back with mighty Steve Halls and my question for Steve today is really about sometimes when we're doing really intense exercise it seems like you know you get the whole jelly legs it feels like my body's got nothing left to give and I've only done a few minutes exercise you know, what's going on in the body when we get that kind of jelly legs kind of feeling? Ah, uh, my favourite. <laughs> I know, you've got me through it. <laughs> my favourite. Um, the, the, body's, the body's actually designed um, uh, to, you know, to use its energy like that. Um, to really bring it down to its simplest, um, uh, the simplest way of explaining, we've got three energy systems in the body. Right. The first one will last... Um, uh, can last up to about 10 seconds and that's like an intense sprint okay and it's almost like um that's that's the fuel in the pipes you know, right. we haven't gone to the main fuel tank okay. it, it's just what's the residual that's left in the pipes right. and normally if you if you sprint out for 10 seconds afterwards you're not that tired yes you know you you you, you, you fully burst out it everything's worked but you're not really tired because yeah. you haven't got to the main fuel tank. Right. That one comes in when we work up towards the minute. Yes. As you've <laughs> probably experienced in the five minute challenge. Yes. Um, when we work towards the minute, we then really empty the fuel tank. Right. And um, if you can imagine, um, it's a bit like, um, like a toilet system. You know, where, where it's, it's forever drip feeding in. Yes. Yeah. You know, well, that's, that's our energy as we're breathing. Yeah. As we breathe, it's always coming in right yeah. now the tap at the bottom yeah is dependent on how hard we work so if we really sort of go full out and play 100 100 percent it's like turning the tap full on right. now, no matter how much is coming in the top yeah because it's gushing out the bottom yeah the the, yeah. the fuel level comes down to a point where we stop yeah you know, yeah. Just before we stop, we get the jelly legs, we get yeah. everything else. But if you used to carry on and on and on, we just stop. Yeah. Or we can't lift another one. Yes. Or we can't do one more jump. Yeah. As soon as we stop, that's like turning the tap yes. off. And straight away, we're still breathing, it's hopefully up. at this stage. Yes. And, and, and we start to top up again. Yeah. Now, depending on how long we rest for, yes. will depend how much fuel we get back in the tank. Yeah. So if we used to rest... You know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it's going to fill up again. Yeah. If we only rest for a couple of seconds, it's normally enough to get a few more out. Yes. Because even with the jelly legs thing, recovery is surprisingly quick, isn't yes. it? Because it's kind of yeah. like, I've really emptied the system. You know, I've totally yeah. given everything. And yet, five minutes later, you, you're kind of like, oh, my system's yeah. recovered. Well, the next stage on from that is, it's called the aerobic stage. Right. And what that does is, as it's as the, the fuel level's coming down, that's almost partially closing the right. tap at the bottom. Yeah. So what's coming in can sustain what's going out. Right. So if somebody's walking all day, yeah. they're on an aerobic mode. Okay. A marathon runner will be on an aerobic mode. Yeah. They'd be going too fast for me, <laughs> but they'd be in their aerobic yeah, mode. Yeah, yeah. You know, something that they could keep going for longer. Right. But again, if they turn the tap on full, yeah. They'd only get that minute. Yeah. If if it's if it's full enough. Yeah. And the fitter you are, the bigger the fuel tank, the quicker it fills back up. Yes. You know, your recovery. Efficient. Yeah. Yeah. And and the quicker you can work at them high sort of uh, intense levels. Right. So really, yeah. that's all it is. It's a one big fuel tank. Yeah. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Every day is a school day with mighty steel <laughs> steeples.